Calling out to the wolf pack. This is Call of the Wild with Danielle Lewis. Welcome to what might be the last late night ride, y'all. I am becoming extremely cynical and nihilistic in my worldview. And I, I know apathy is the establishment's greatest weapon, but it's kind of beaten into you. Uh, nothing's getting better. It's getting measurably worse. Uh, we're being shut down at every level. Uh, by both sides, it, both the right and the so-called left, uh, both Republicans and Democrats are working together to keep the people down. And unless we're going to have all-out revolution, then there's really no fucking point to talk about this shit. You know, you talk and you talk and you talk and nothing ever fucking happens. So, uh, it's just, yeah, I'm cynical. Let's just put it that way. Um... So, right now, I have a bone, a few bones, to pick with Kyle Kalinske. Uh, Kyle, I have been watching you for four years, and I have never thought you an idiot or a fraud until now. And it's your own doing. First link below is Kyle Kalinske's video entitled CNN begs for social media censorship. So go watch the video and, you know, let's just take a pause to giggle at CNN bitching about fake news. Give us a break, CNN. If we were going to judge fake news on an actual objective basis, then we need to do a few things. We need to verify the factual and contextual truthfulness. Uh, we need to make sure that they are not outright lying, making up fairy tales as an excuse to do this or that. And we need to make sure that people are not inciting violence against each other. Alex Jones has done all of these things and more. So what CNN is trying to do here is get Alex Jones off the air. They weren't talking about anything else or anyone else. They're trying to get Alex Jones off the air. And I don't see how this is a free speech issue when free speech has exceptions for inciting violence. Uh... I see no reason to keep giving Alex Jones any type of mainstream validity and to argue that, well, if you censor Alex Jones, that will give them an excuse to censor people like Jimmy Dore, I consider a false equivalence. Again, if you were to do an objective analysis of both Jimmy Dore and Alex Jones on a fact basis, uh, objective reality, uh, on ev any level that you can measure for factual and contextual truthfulness, Jimmy Dore passes with flying colors and Alex Jones shits the bed. So if you actually want to do an analysis of news and find out who is fake news, I will guarantee you that Jimmy Dore will be at the bottom of the list. So you can't compare Alex Jones to Jimmy, Jimmy Dore. Uh, that is a false equivalence. And at this point, I consider an empty threat to protect the status quo. That's what you're doing here, Kyle. You're saying, don't try to make anything better because it might get worse. To think of all of the innovations that humanity could have missed out on if we had kept up that attitude for our entire history. If people were not willing to break the rules a little bit, bend the rules a little bit, to try to make things better. Alex Jones does not have the free speech right to incite violence against people. And that is what he does. You just did a video, Kyle, where he was talking about exterminating leftists. Now, when Jimmy Dore calls for revolution... That's written into our Constitution that we can do that. We are able to politically overthrow our government and put in place another one. What you are not allowed to do is a genocide 
against your political opponents. That's not allowed. So what you're doing is comparing constitutionally guaranteed right to revolution against vigilante violence against political opponents. It's not the same thing. It's a false equivalence, Kyle. And you're using that false equivalence to try and save Alex Jones. When all Alex Jones wants to do is exterminate you, you fucking idiot. And while we're bitching about fake news, second link below is Kyle Kalinske's take on the latest Mueller indictments in the Russiagate scandal. Kyle Kalinske has jumped on the Russiagate train wreck. He is now convinced by these latest indictments that Julian Assange, quote, may not have been telling the truth when Julian Assange said that Russia did not hack the DNC. Kyle, what is more likely that Julian Assange, the person who for years has provided the public with information that we need and has never been proven wrong ever and never been proven to be lying or is Robert Mueller and our intelligence communities who are paid to lie who Robert Mueller is the asshole that lied before Congress to get us into the illegal Iraq war who do you think is the liar Kyle if you can honestly tell me that you think on those basis that Julian Assange could possibly be a liar, I think you're a fucking idiot. You have lost the fucking plot. You know, they say if you repeat a lie often enough, people will start to believe it. And absolute truth is what everyone believes. Kyle Kalinske has succumbed to gaslighting. They have pulled the wool over to our eye over our eyes for so long that Kyle is now convinced that he was wrong all along and that whatever they whatever they say that we saw is what we actually saw. Don't believe your lying eyes. Kyle, you make me fucking sick. We have been over this over and over and not not even just with the Russia gate thing. With the with the police brutality cases all over the country. What do they say? You can indict a ham sandwich. Because all the prosecution, all they're doing is pre- presenting the prosecution's case. There's no showing of evidence. There's no argumentation. You can indict almost anyone or anything. An indictment is not proof of anything. So if they have proof that Russia hacked the DNC servers, and they have proof that, like I saw the New York Post uh, 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 headline tonight. They're talking about a, a Russian operative in D.C. who slept her way into politics. I want proof of all of this. And not from a rag like the New York Post. An indictment is not proof of anything, Kyle. And if you think that an indictment set down by Robert Mueller proves that Julian Assange is a liar, you're a fucking moron. And my last little bit for you is the last link below. Now, since I've been getting away from lefty media, after I unsubscribe from Kyle Kalinske, it'll be literally Jimmy Dore and Mike Figueredo left. I have been watching other things, and I've been getting heavily into the logic slash skeptic slash atheist community. And I started watching, I'm just going to spew out a bunch of names here. I highly recommend you go watch them. Uh, Logic, Telltale Atheist, uh, Professor Stick. Professor Stick is taking a hiatus right now, but his videos are fucking golden. Uh, uh, we got uh, Sir Sick, the social inequality crusader. He's fucking awesome. And I started out with these. And suddenly, YouTube gave me Seth Andrews. And through Seth Andrews, I found RN Raw and the Non Sequitur Show and Red's Rhetoric. Now, on the set Non Sequitur Show is that link below, the last link, where they're in a hangout and RN is talking about himself running for Texas State Senate. 
Now, Aaron Ra is a theological and biological researcher, so he is scientifically minded, he is politically progressive, and he is an atheist. That should be a trifecta for Kyle. But where in 2016 did you guys ever hear Aaron Ra's name mentioned by Kyle Kalinske? Or Jimmy Dore? Or TYT? It seems that lefty media had no idea that there was a scientific atheist running for fucking Texas State Senate. Why? You don't have an excuse because also in that hangout you will see David McGinnis tell us that he emailed Kyle Kalinske and told him about Aaron and his candidacy. So you don't have a fucking excuse. Any lefty media does not have an excuse for ignoring Aaron Ra. And Justice Democrats also ignored Aaron Ra. Could it be, Kyle, that you're so focused on Justice Democrats, your little pet project, that you completely ignored all other progressive movements across the country? Because you're so focused on your little pet project that has failed at every fucking level? When I heard this, I went and I searched and I looked back. And there is quite literally nothing from any lefty media on R and Raw. Uh, no one even his, even picked up his parody Texas campaign ad. It's the most hilarious thing I ever heard. I'll link that below too. It's only got like a, a, a few hundred views. I, I don't see any reason to exonerate lefty media for ignoring R and Raw's candidacy, especially in a state where you have openly LGBT people running, but they won't even talk about having an atheist run. So where are you now, Kyle, when your atheists actually fucking need you in, 20, in 2016? You weren't there for anyone because you were focused on your pet project. And this is where it all fucking wraps up for me, Kyle. Because looking back on the last four years, compared to what you're doing now, is you've progressed completely. You, know, you defend Alex Jones, Richard Spencer, the fucking Nazis. You shame the left when they voice their free speech. Uh, you jump on the establishment's Russiagate like they've proven it with an indictment. And you completely ignored the perfect progressive candidate for Texas in 2016. So at this point, I am asking a whole shitload of questions about you, Kyle, and none of them are getting answered. Because I know you don't pay attention to your comment section. I know you don't fucking watch videos that respond to you. And I know you don't engage with your audience. So I guess I'm just putting this out to the fucking ether because you won't listen to any criticism. And that is why I'm pretty much done with Kyle Kalinske. Unless he changes his tune. If he changes his tune, fucking realizes he was wrong, I will give him all the fucking credit in the world. But as it stands right now, I consider you either an idiot or a fucking fraud, and I'm not going to fucking put up with it anymore. For the rest of my wolf pack, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, if you guys can give me any factual or contextual reasons why I'm fucking wrong, I'd love to hear it. So, uh, comment below. If I get 20 likes on this video, maybe I'll make another video, and we'll talk about your comments. And, you know, keep your eyes open. Keep your mind sharp. Don't let anyone gaslight you. You saw what you saw. Believe in that. Believe in what you saw and what you heard. Because I don't think I'm fucking crazy. And I don't think anyone else noticing these inconsistencies are crazy either. So, leave a like, tell me what you think, and maybe I'll see you guys soon.